This is a video that will show you how to use Zoom to record a multi-person presentation. In this particular case, there's going to be, um, and we're doing group presentations, where you will send the entire PowerPoint to one person who will host the film. They will invite other people to the meeting, and when you're all in the meeting, uh, someone will share a screen, the host, and then each person will have a chance to speak about their slides and their face will show. This is my home screen in Zoom. I'm going to go start a new meeting. And from my new meeting in Zoom, I'm going to join with Computer Audio. I always recommend checking your audio and your video in there. Um, that, that should work well. And then I'm going to invite a participant. Today's participant is going to be uh, Dr. Varner, uh, you can either do it via contacts or via email, right? Um, in this case, I think if I do it through contacts, it's relatively quickly to invite her. And there it goes. So she should be able to pick that up. Once she gets here, we'll see her on screen as well. Well, she's not here yet. Um, notice that at the bottom of the screen, I can look at things like, here she comes. Hello, Dr. Varner. Hi, Dr. Waller. Woo. -hoo. So I'm going to go to gallery view up here, and the gallery view allows me to see both of us on the same page. Um, so we're both here, and I'm going to now I'm going to share a screen. Assume you have all four of your group here. I'm going to share the screen, and I have some different things, programs I can share, basically. And I'm not going to do my whole desktop. That's not a great idea because everything on your desktop shows up. Just Microsoft PowerPoint. And then uh, if you've recently had the PowerPoint open, that will be the one that is on the top of your desktop. So now that it's here, you can see that the two of us are on the screen and we are in Zoom and there's some tools up here at the top for Zoom. Um, the, in the more category is the record on this computer or record to the cloud. So what you want to do is record to the cloud because if it gets stuck on your computer, you have to send it to the rest of us and that's not going to work. So we're going to record to the cloud. Click. Now it's connecting the cloud server. And I see the blinking light right here. So now we've begun this presentation. Um, now in PowerPoint, I am in the middle of a slideshow here, right? So um, I can now move through the slides. Now what you see on the screen now is you'll see all of your, your meeting uh, fellow students will be here, all four of you, but while we're recording a shared screen, the only person that will show up in the final video will be the person who's speaking at that time. So if somebody were to else were to start speaking, Zoom would recognize them and they would then be the person who would be talking. Hey, Dr. Walla. Oh dear, I think that if somebody else speaks during the presentation, then their face will be the one associated with the slides. Hey, knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting Pika. Interrupting Pika. Who... This so is a great way to teach. <laughs> so... <laughs> So now you give the talk, you continue on down through. The key here is that the host has to do the slide changing. So you can see that I click the arrows here, and then you have those slides being changed over by them. So between slides, you might say, next slide, please. And then the host knows to do that. And so at this point, I go back to the top of the page. I've given our talk, we're all done. Please notice it does have a pause recording button so that you can pause either to switch people or to prepare something or whatever you like and then I'm going to click stop recording there. Okay, it tells me I'll get an email when it's done. So you can't get the recording until you empty the meeting, like you have to close the meeting, okay? So I'm going to, um, I'm stopped and now our meeting's still going on and so now what we're going to do is we're going to leave this screen and uh, we'll go take a look at how the video came out thanks for coming dr barner good luck team okay so now i have to end this meeting stop sharing for one and then i'm going to go down here and i'm going to end the meeting end meeting for all so now i'm back waiting here 
at my screen for my email to get here. So now I'm going to go to my email. Okay, and I haven't gotten anything from anyone yet, except for it appears Dr. Haas. I will wait here. I, I think I get a, a notification when that comes in. Um, when your email arrives, it will have a link to uh, something for you, and it will also have a, like something to share. And that means the share is the one you want to share. You want to send that to me or your instructor for your class so I can share it with everyone else and then everyone can see the video. So I'm not going to wait for the email right now. You'll have to see how that goes. Um, actually, I, I pretty much can't wait. I have to hope I get the email soon. There it is. Cloud recording. There's my cloud recording, so watch. I'm gonna go down here and click on the one that says share recording with viewers. That's the one you'll be sending out. Let's watch the video. Okay, hit play. Now it's connecting the cloud server and I see the blinking light right here. So now we've begun this presentation. Um, now, in PowerPoint, I am in the middle of a slideshow here, right? So um, I can now move through the slides. Now, what you see on the screen now is you'll see all of your, your meeting uh, fellow students will be here, all four of you. But while we're recording a shared screen, the only person that will show up in the final video will be the person who's speaking at that time. So if somebody were to, else were to start speaking, Zoom would recognize them, and they would then be the person who would be talking. Hey, Dr. Walla. Oh, dear. I think that if somebody else speaks during the presentation, then their face will be the one associated with the slides. Hey, knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting Pika. Interrupting Pika. I'm so this is a great way to teach. <laughs> so, <laughs> so now you give the talk, you continue on down through. The key here is that the host has to do the slide changing. So you can see that I click the arrows here, and then you have those slides being changed over by them. So between slides, you might say, next slide, please. And then the host knows to do that. And so at this point, I go back to the top of the page. I've given our talk, we're all done. Please notice it does have a pause recording button so that you can pause either to switch people or to prepare something or whatever you like. And then I'm gonna click. Okay, that was a great video. That's how it's supposed to look. This is a very professional way to present your talk. If you have any questions, let me know.